I would say that the funding for a program like this is essential if you want to keep new teachers in the profession, grow experienced teachers, and have them stay in the classroom where they're greatly needed. already see that the teachers are bringing back new and relevant best practices to their classrooms and it's improving the quality of student work. It's improving the consistency of the students learning. We focus on RL 3.3 which was describing the The veteran teachers are sharing a huge amount of expertise and strategies with newer teachers and, and actually walking the walk. Overall, students' achievement has just increased dramatically, and that's in a short time. Our gross can be minimal at times, but this year we see 95% of the kids moving in, in one semester. That's a lot. That's more than we've ever had really across a grade level. It's been a huge success. We really have seen the vocabulary being used at the elementary schools skyrocket. This model has been really successful, and we've seen so much more progress this year. Any ideas on how we can clean this water? The STLE grant has enabled us to have wonderful connections with Adelphi professors. Only the, the districts with a certain number of free and reduced lunch were qualified. We're in the districts that need us the most. The twofold goal was really to get parents to be instructional support uh, and partners at home on the one hand. And on the second hand, and, and equally important, to get parents on board with the fact that this was doable. Well, they invite you in. They, uh, the first thing they did, they did academies here where they showed us. We went in and you actually sat in the classroom with teachers and they taught you examples of what your children are learning. Professional development in the past year in Greece was very disjointed and it was an event. Now I feel like all the work that we do with professional development is embedded within a strategic plan and as teacher leaders and classroom teachers we take the goals from the PD and its ongoing efforts. We really know that if we help our teachers it will be beneficial to the students. There's a real need for, for teachers to come out of the classroom and share their best practices. This STLE grant will provide that opportunity for our, our teachers around our district. So remember, seven change to an eight and then we're good to go. I want to see the funding go up because we need to expand this. We have it in a few buildings in the Syracuse City School District. I'd like to see it expanded to all buildings. Here in our unique special ed climate, I think it's imperative for staff to be on board with each other. And you know, everyone is really going full force, so to make it go away, it would be devastating, I think, to our community. These style grants have really helped us build teacher leadership within our school district. Philosophically, we believe that teachers should have a voice in not only our curriculum, but various important decisions that we're making on behalf of the children. But the great success is we have been able to utilize the feedback to alter instructional practices in a manner that we believe is going to do a as much good as possible for our students. The greatest resource in many school districts is the teachers. If we can come together and pool our background knowledge and our strengths, it's only going to benefit our students in the long run.